New standards are out for child car seats. News Channel 18's Laura Kirtley explains what the changes mean for parents. The American Academy of Pediatrics has issued new standards for parents to follow when it comes to car seats. Infants that are rear facing are very safe in collisions. But when we started turning them around at 12 months or 13 months, and there was a great increase in child deaths at that age. Terry Jones is a child passenger safety technician at IU Health Arnett Hospital. She says the biggest change is that all children need to stay in a rear facing car seat that's facing the back of the car until they are two years old or until they reach the maximum height and weight for their seat. If that was the front and the child was rear facing, in a collision the child just goes back against the seat, very hard against the seat but its back and spine is completely supported and the force is distributed all the way up there. If they are forward facing, the impact causes their heads to snap forward. Their little heads are so heavy compared to the strength in their neck and they get a neck injury. They get a fractured neck. After two years old, children can face forward in a car seat with a harness. The AAP also recommends a child sit in a booster seat until they are four feet nine inches tall. This is usually between eight and twelve years old. They should stay in a booster until they're tall enough to sit in the car seat with their back all the way against the back of the seat and be able to bend their knees and touch the floor. Jones says parents need to replace a car seat after six years and if that seat has been in a car accident, Jones says to throw it out because it could be cracked or damaged. Laura Kirtley, News Channel 18. IU Health Arnett's Terry Jones reminds parents that all children should ride in the back seat until they are 13 years old. Also, children in rear-facing car seats should never be placed in a seat where an airbag could suddenly inflate.